look at um, and still in two space here uh, it says determine the intersection of each pair of lines so we're given two in scalar form and we're going to use um, uh, the method you can use method of uh, elimination or substitution I'm going to use elimination here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to the two lines as uh, equation number one and two and I'm going to eliminate x here. So I'm going to say, okay, there's a 2x here, there's an 8x here. What would what common multiple of 2 and 8 is there? And of course, the answer is 8. That's, well, that's the least common one. There's lots of multiples they have in common. So if I multiply this equation by 4, then that'll make that an 8x, and this will have an 8x. And so if I subtract the two equations, I will eliminate the 8x, and that's, that's why it's called elimination. So this is what I'm going to write. I'm going to take equation number 1, and I'm going to multiply it by 4. And so the entire equation gets multiplied by 4. 4 times 2x is 8x, 4 times negative 3y is negative 12y, and 4 times 7 is 28. The second equation starts with an 8x, so I don't have to multiply by anything. Um, sometimes you will have to multiply them both by a, uh, a number to make get the, the common multiple. So, and I'll put a line here, and since the 8x's are the same, I am going to subtract. 8x minus 8x is nothing, or 0x. Negative 12y minus negative 12y, same as negative 12y plus 12y. And so you actually get 0y here, and 28 minus 15 is 13. Now, the equation 0y equals 13 means what number do you multiply by 0 to get 13? And there is no answer to that. No matter what you multiply by 0, you cannot get 13 or any non-zero number. So there is no solution to this. And the interpretation of that would mean that these two lines do not ever intersect because they're parallel. And in fact, if they're in scalar form and you see this, the, um, a multiple of x and y in the second one, for example, 2x times 4 is 8x, and negative 3y times the same 4 is negative 12y, well, then they're parallel lines. Now, if the 7 and the 15, if those numbers were in the same multiple, then they'd actually be the same line. They'd be coincident lines. So, for example, since I'm multiplying by 4, if this number here had been 28, then they would have been the same line, not just parallel and distinct. Distinct means that they're not the same line. They're parallel and different lines. I could use the word different there. In the second example, we're given uh, e the two equations in vector form, and you'll see that a lot more than the scalar version in uh, uh, the MCV4U course, the Calculus and Vectors course. And so the basic standard uh, strategy here is to put the two equations in parametric form. And so the black one, the top one here, x will equal 2 minus t, and y would equal negative 3 plus 4t. And we'll do the same thing with the reddish-brown one here. Uh, x would be 9 plus 3s, x, s, and y would be negative 1 minus 2s. Remember when you're writing out parametric equations and you've got two or more lines working the same question, don't use the same parameter for each one. If I use t for the first one, then use a different letter to represent the parameter for the second uh, equation and any subsequent ones as well. Now, we're trying to find the point that's in common to both of these lines. So I'm going to equate the two expressions for x. So I'm going to equate 2 minus t and 9 plus 3s. And then I'm going to, because I'm trying to find the point that's on the two lines, I'm trying really to find the value for t that I substitute in this one to give me the same point if, I, if, I, there's, if there's a certain value of s that I can substitute in this one to give me the same point. So what value of t in the first one and what value of t in the second one will generate the same point? That's essentially what we're trying to do here. So I'll do the same thing with uh, y here. I'm going to equate the negative 3 plus 4t and the negative 1 minus 2s. And what I have now is two equations and two unknowns, and it becomes a question very much like a here. Uh, we might not look at these and say they're scalar equations, but they really are scalar type equations. And so what I should do in order to solve it in the same way here, I'm going to rearrange both of these so that s and t terms are on the left and the constants on the right. So I'm going to bring the subtract 3s from, from both sides or bring the 3s over, bring the 2 over here or subtract 2 from both sides. Notice that the negative t and the negative 3s are, are both negative and I like to have the leading coefficient positive so I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1 and so that's why that turns into be t plus 3s and 9 minus 2 is negative 7 is 7 so when we multiply by negative 1 we get a negative 7 here. I'll do the same thing for this one. Um, when, I, when I rearrange and bring the s term over to the left it becomes of course 2s and negative 3 becomes plus 3 added to the negative 1 of course is uh, 2. 
So we get 4t plus 2s equals 2. So we have two equations and two unknowns. And uh, I'm going to eliminate a variable, just like I did in A. And so I'll call that equation 1 and this one equation 2. And I'm going to eliminate the t here. So I'm going to take the first equation and I'm going to multiply it by 4, because 4 is the least common multiple of 1 and 4. And so I multiply this by 4, so that's 4t. 3s times 4 is 12s. And negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. And the t's are the same, so we'll subtract again, just like we did above. And 2s minus 12s, of course, is negative 10s. And 2 take away negative 28 is the same as 2 plus 28, so we get positive 30 there. Dividing out the negative 10, we get s is negative 3. So negative 3 should be the number that if we substitute in place of s, I'll generate the point that's on both lines. And so uh, I'm going to find t here too, because that's how we can check to make sure this is right. If you were really confident in your math and you thought you're never ever going to make a mistake, you could actually stop here and put the negative 3 in here and here, and that would give you the point that's on both. But uh, we're just going to check to be sure. So system of equations, you normally do find both variables. So I'm going to take the negative 3, and I'm going to substitute it in this second equation in place of s. And so we would get 4t plus 2 times negative 3 equals 2. Of course, that's negative 6. Uh, add 6 to both sides, we get 4t equals 8, and divide out the 4, and we get 2. So t should be 2. So I'm going to take the uh, first one, the uh, black one, and substitute the 2 in place of t here. So 2 minus 2, and 2 here as well. So uh, negative 3 plus 4 times 2. Of course, 2 minus 2 is 0. And uh, this would be 8. 8 we're adding to negative 3, so we get 5. So the lines intersect at the point 0, 5. Now, to check to make sure this is right, and this is a really good check, take the negative 3 and put it up here in place of s. And so it would look like this. And of course, we should still get 0, 5. So if we put it here, we would get 9 plus 3 times negative 3. And so we're adding 9 and negative 9. So that certainly does give you a 0. And uh, negative 1 minus 2 times negative 3 would equal negative 1 plus 6, which of course is 5. And so we get 5, get 0, 5. So that certainly is the correct point.